this next conversation is important on different levels. You can see me chuckling already. Amidst all of the challenges, it's important to you know, just take a moment. Just yeah. take a moment, even if it's five minutes, and just reflect on the things that can make you happy. You can't go through the days of tight up and, and stuff. So on the one hand, to give you something to laugh about, to mm -hmm. make merry about. On the other hand, his story is very inspiring. Wow. This man is multifaceted. Glory he to God. has been able to transform different ideas, different mm. skills into income. He's nodding his head right <laughs> next to me. Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us on the show Toy Baigu. You know him Thank you so as Woli. Thank, Thank you so much. It's an honor of me here. You guys are amazing. I, I feel so blessed. When you reached out to me, I was like, wow, ah, it, it's a huge honor. So I, I do not take this for granted. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing because what you're saying is not really funny, but I am laughing at the same time. We are the ones that feel honored. I know, absolutely. Yeah, right? it's, it's, it speaks to the point that Nigerians need something to share them. Oh, on. yes. There's yes. a lot going on yes, right now. Yes. I mean, you are where you're all dressed in white, as do all of the Rofo Rofo is not talking to you. So, <laughs> not you. Even your teeth, they are extra white. <laughs> you know? Please tell us, how are you getting by the spirit? We'll come to your story, but we need some, you know, divine ideas yes, of, of for, sorts. For this, for me, yeah. you know, uh, I'm very faith based. Um, I'm Christian, and and how to come from that angle? You just need to because I know I understand. I, I was listening to the to the what the other I guess you brought were saying. We are in a very serious um, time in Nigeria, very very apparently also globally, not just Nigeria. I must say that, but it's more intense on us here. And I think one thing we must. I said something the other time about how can we go through this mentally? Is just to firstly be grateful. And that's the truth, because behind anything you see, there will still be one thing you are grateful about. Even and that, if it's one thing. At, at least, and, and you must just know that the joy of the Lord must be your strength at this time. This is not it, because, okay, the situation is quite tight. Now, if you are yourself now goes about the situation quite tight, it's going to be too draining for you. So at times, some people might just resolve to just listen to music, uh, maybe parents just play with their kids. You know, you get what I'm saying? Mm. You, you, because it can't be so tight and you're also very tight. You might not even find a way out of the situation yourself because we're gonna, everybody will react to this differently. So we just need to keep up that smile and, and keep praying, hoping that things change. And that's why we have you on the show, really. Mm -hmm. Being grateful, even if it's for one thing. Yeah. And then find avenues to make yourself happy. It's Good. really important because things are tough. Don't be tough. Like, oh, yes. Tough times tough. Isn't yes, it? exactly. Tough square. But tell, talk, talk to us. You have such a phenomenal story. Wow. Uh, I was just saying uh, before we came on the show, I remember a picture we took yes. years ago. We had, we had a good Will history. It was, you know, we're just starting there now. Well, yeah. is global. Glory to God. I mean, millions yeah. of followers on social Glory media. To God. Glory to God. You, you don't just do content creation, you're into fashion. Yes, yes. Imagine this was yes, done made this by point. you. Yes. And now you're into ministry. Yes. But tell us how Wole Arale went from that boy that finished from school in Ibadan, mm. went to school in OAU, mm. to this global star that we're seeing right now. I, I, I think for me, if I am to summarize my story, uh, I think it's just a story that God can show any human being a dimension of mercy that even he himself will be shocked at the outcome of the result. That there is a level of God's grace on a man that your effort, fine, you've tried, but your result cannot be compared to your effort. Mm. That means he will have multiplied you so much more that when people bring you on platform like this to talk, all you first say is not that you want to be a cliche, it's God. Because I tell my people that people funnier than me, that people more anointed than I am. You know, I, but I'm here by God's grace. I've known this young man in my day in Ibadan. You know, a time when I used to, in fact, there was a time that when I saw him, I was like, ah, you are the young man I used to, you remember, I used to listen, it's the truth. And you know, you, you watch, and for, I think for K, K understand more, because you know, we are almost from the same region, and you see growth. In fact, not him, even myself saw growth. Even my mother saw growth. Even my friends saw growth. And it's just quite incredible. After all of the fact of, you know, hard work is very important. You know, persistence is very important. You hold on to your dreams. One thing that I think has really worked for me is my ability not to downplay what I carry. You can't, I don't run by people's opinion. But whatever you say about me is, is your opinion, sorry. That's not who I am. I'm not who you say I am, I'm who God says I am. So I add all of this even from the days in OAU. Some might say, I really, I'm not really funny. This, I had my downtime, oh, 100%. Where I will, like, ah, but I just kneel, you know, and I'm, I'm very affirmative with myself. I look at the mirror, I say, Tony, you are a great guy. The world will hear your sound. 
they will know that there is a man. I, I kept at it when there was no money. Mm. I just come at just with this attitude and I say, the word we hear. And that's why the word we say are very powerful. Yeah. It is not even about faith now. It's just science. Keep saying it, it's going to be well. I'll be fine. Before you know, this word will form a force around you. Mm. I begin to gravitate you to destiny. So let's talk about some of the challenges you had to face uh, 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 when you focus more on comedy because you're yeah. transiting to yeah. a lot of things now, yeah, multi-layered, yeah. which is why we say multifaceted here. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's a controversy around the art form of comedy uh, juxtaposing it with faith-based spaces. Yes. How yes. did you manage all of that? Because even till today, people don't understand why comedians yeah. will be on a sacred platform yes. like the yes. pulpit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So how did you manage all of that? So for me, uh, I think the the grace for me was that when I started from Inisha, I, I don't do mockery. You can check all my content. I don't blaspheme. And that's where, and, and I agree with faith-based people. Uh, God, God is sacred. Our faith is sacred. In fact, I feel all faith are sacred. Islamic, traditionalist, Christian, you get what I'm saying? So there are boundaries you must not cross. So why, you know, why I was quite active as a comedian, my content, I do my carry myself, selfie, do a video, all I talk about is positive vibes. Oguayye, that means your glory will shine. You get what I'm saying? I would never, church has invited me before. In fact, before I go to perform at church, I pray that there are things I must never say. There are some jokes you must not crack. For example, you're a pastor in a church, okay, maybe you invite me, and there are some ways I, I'm, I can't just do banter to you, sir, because you're not a man of God. Even if I want to do it, it must be positive. I'm like, ah, daddy, Lord, God bless you, thanks for, you get it. I can't say, look at his head. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And some people don't know. So that's where people felt that, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So you just choke a mommy, Gio, joke a, you know, this Jesus of a thing, this thing, uh, this blood of, you get it. These are sacred things. So I think that's where faith people had issue with people that were content creators and comedians to say, see, our faith is sacred. This is the name we call and the dead rises. This is the name we call. So, so uh, God helped me at that time because I, I knew from way back, oh, I had the comedy thing and I had the prophetic. Yes, quite well. But the comedy was, came out first. People knew me through But I understood boundaries by his grace from start. So for me to transit was easy because people would say, normally it does not make mockery. So that was it. Well, I'm sure you're expecting this one. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm sure you, you're wondering what happened if we didn't ask you this question. The anointing is attractive. Mm. Yes, I'm sure you understand <laughs> that's what I mean. It's attractive to the extent you that... Me, you put me on the spot there. <laughs> you'll be getting attention from a lot of female folk. Tell us how you manage it. Ah, it's God's grace, oh. mm -hmm. I'm, 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 People know obviously I'm married by the special grace of God. <laughs> and I have a son. Uh, you should put that on record very well for people that don't no, know. No, I'm married though. Ah, yes, now, it, 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 it's online and I respect my family. That's very, very important and all of that. Uh, one thing I think that has also helped me is the fact that I don't create an atmosphere where such a thing can strive. You can create an atmosphere for sin. You can. Mm. No matter how anointed you are. No matter even, you can. That's why the Bible tells us to flee. There are, some, uh, there are boundaries. So once you know that there are boundaries, you may, oh yes, the, the people will give gestures. Oh yes. And I do tell people, I'm not so concerned about what you throw to me. I'm more concerned about how I react to it. So if I sense it and I feel that, you know, I'm not too comfortable with this, oh, cut off. And God has also been helping. Speaking of boundaries, you had cause to um, clarify your approach to deliverance, uh, you know, and which got um, the mainstream media uh, yes, talking. Sir. You talked about um, how there are... Let me just read your, yes. your uh, statement. <laughs> and you can correct me if I'm wrong. You said, I see a lot of people comment about me hugging the women. So the face lady is my the first lady i believe is my blood sister yeah. and the other lady is my wife yeah. there are dimensions to power oh. different people operate in diverse dimensions so I, I can hug my wife and pray for her i can hug my oh, sister yeah. and pray for her so my question is if you say that there are dimensions to power uh, would it be okay if those ladies were not uh, related to you not your wife not your sister i can't hug them like that no i won't of course that's boundary we had a meeting, 24 hours meeting, which was the surge. My blood sister was there. That time my blood sister has hugged me to pray for me. It's an honor for me now to hug my sister and pray for her. 
and there is, and this is what people don't know. You see, as a spiritual person, you are spiritually driven. So people that are kind of might not see what you're doing. So it is hard. You get what I'm saying? Mm. To, because you are not in the same space. What I'm saying, you are not saying. You get what I'm saying? That time as well that my wife has prayed for me by hugging me. My mom has prayed for me by hugging me. My mom was in that meeting. Okay, let me give an example. My mom, if I want to pray for my mother, there was a day I wanted to pray for my mom at home. She knelt down, 74-year-old woman. I, I said, no, Grandma, what will you do? What was it? I wanted to hold my mom up. My mom said, no, don't do that. Though. He said, it's not you I'm leaning for. I'm leaning for what you carry, which is more than you. Can you see that? That's understanding. Mm. But you so, know... Uh, Adam me, Inquiry, I'd like you to now speak to extreme cases. Please address it for the sake of those who are also faith-based. Yeah. So this is it. There are boundaries. Like I said, I have to clarify that. The first person I helped, when, when, when that meeting, the power of God was so much upon me, and I saw my sister, I can't put, I was not even let to lay hand or head on my sister. Right? That's my blood sister. With three, my other brother, my immediate sister, and, my, and myself. That time in my life that just a hug and an embrace strengthened me in my journey. Funny enough, I, I even guess my sister was going through something at that time. So you know when she hugged me, first I felt a warm of a connection of where we've been coming from. You know what I'm saying? And there was quick impactation. Then my wife was also in that meeting. Oh yes. Hugged and prayed for her. And that was all. There were other people there, ladies, you just hold their hand and you pray. Because it, there must be boundary. Mm. There must be. It's just the truth. You can't just go around and that was how to correct that narrative. So people don't know. There must be. That, that, that could be someone's wife. You get what I'm saying? It's not, even for me, my friends know people that are in ministry, there are times that even if I come to you, I will take permission from you. Please, can I hold your hands? Can I? Yes. Some people say, no, go ahead. Some people, they want to kneel down. I say, no, no, you don't need to kneel down. Some people, you don't even need to touch them. As I'm talking now, the power of God is on people. In fact, funny enough, when I was coming for this meeting, God told me clearly, he said, I read as you appear on this program, some people will be watching you at home. As they are seeing you instantly, they will be having healings. I heard clear, I was taking my bait. God told me, he said, people are going to watch you. God, I heard clearly that there will be some people that have migraine. As I'm speaking now, it's gone. They will check it. At different places, some pain, gone. Now, I'm not seeing them. The word has gone for, can you see that? I don't need to touch. You know, uh, this, by the way, can I go? <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, this, this new, I won't say new, because you said that this has always been the case yeah. with you, and you've been conscious with your comedy, with your content, ever mm -hmm. since that mm -hmm. there's a faith approach to mm -hmm. it, and you can't joke with it. So this has not come without its controversy. Yes, sir. Particularly uh, the part of praying for people, the miracles, yes, and sir. the rest. Yes, sir. And the straight question a lot of people ask is, is this an act? Yes. So what is Arole doing, doing praying for people and then their <laughs> miracles? So I'd like you to address this. Are the miracles real or fake? I will say it. I've experienced it. I've seen it. Sir, it's real. Okay, I say it today. I wish if there's a phone line, what I just said now, maybe people call, you will see someone that will call from home. We'll say, on this program now, the pain in my head just left now. For real, there is. Let me, let me go a bit in science. Whatever you felt before, you can't deny that it exists, yes or no? That's just science, it's fact. There's something called empirical, uh, when we do experiment. If I've felt something before, okay, even if you say that thing is not there, I will tell you that I felt it. Because you experienced it. You know why people, some people don't believe in miracles? And I, and I understand the layman people. A lot of people have bastardized it. That's it, faith-based people. So, you get, so a normal person we had give that miracle, which I don't blame anyone that thinks miracle is faked because they feel a lot of state stuff. Mm. Where there's a lot of fake, it's only original that will nullify the fake. So, you know, one of the challenges you may be dealing with, and I want you to address it, is a conflict of perception. Yes. You're dealing with a conflict of perception, which some people are still not, they've not gotten around it. At all. Because uh, in marketing, they say there's a brand awareness, then yes. there's a market share. Yeah. So the introduction phase, we saw you as a really really. comedian. Yes, sir. And now you're doing sacred things. Yes, sir. So at what point did you move? Do you get that transition? And now are people managing that perception? Or you feel that people are still locked in your past? And are you navigating that path? This question is... 
amazing question. God bless you, sir. So it, it, it's been in me. It's been in me. I, it, so it started. I just pray for my friends. Pray for my friends. Two, three friends. So I on my phone, IG Live, and God spoke to me. So time is now. So I, I started taking people to the mountain. And all of that, and all of that. I started moving, started moving, started moving. And some of my fans thought it was a joke. Oh, this guy is not joking again. Oh, he's not real. So there's something called anakazo. It's a particular word. It's called compelling power. And that is one thing about uh, power of God, faith, is that you do less conviction. The power itself convicts people. For example, I didn't know I was going to be on channels today. I didn't know this. I, it's not planned. That's God. He just reached out to me. Oh, this stuff. Can you come out of that? I was, in fact, where I was, I counted it as a privilege. So that's it. So you get what I'm saying? So I, I get that a lot. In fact, when I go for meetings, some of my fans laugh first because they are, <laughs> this, I, this one you're saying, bro, this one's, and another thing is an advantage for me. So my fans know me to be this humor person. So it gives me a penetrating effect. So the, my fans see me around and they say, pray for me. Quite humbling. Because they've connected with the comedian for the ministry, the gospel to penetrate is easy. And that's one thing that God is using people like us to correct, that God can use any man in any profession at any time. Kay is, is a broadcaster. Let's, and the agenda of God is that someone like this will just carry the prophetic. He's still doing whatever he's doing. But he's just living. It's just, how are you doing? It might not just be so much. It could be word of knowledge. So that's it. So it's, we, our only now is not... He's not the church, church kind of person. He's still the normal guy. I'm still into production. I still do my content, but by the time I get to a set, which, which are those words that sent me through, they say, can you pray with us? Can you, people send me messages back. They got their healing. They got testimony. So, 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 so that, that part is, people still, oh, really, in fact, some of my clients, let me tell you something, one funny thing, sir. I had an MC event recently in London. That my client, God, God saved my life. He has paid me already. If I know, and I needed money. <laughs> so, East, he was relating with the old, I really that he said, mm -hmm. MC. Ah, Father Lord, I thank you for that day. <laughs> it's a very interesting story, this one. He had paid me pounds. He, he just saw, because, and he said that happened January 20th, which I cannot recover from. I haven't, when they met him, I think that's the picture they showed it the other time. The man was on crutches. Even my friend invited me there. And I said, sir, you're going to walk. Even when I was saying it, I was saying, God, I beg you my life. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, God told me, go and meet him. He will work. I said, and that God. was real. My friends were there. His name is MCOJB in London. People, if not that, they were there. Uh -huh, for example, people would have doubted. In, I, I, that's it. In fact, to show that it was so real, it was from my... I, because when I go for teachings, I do an IG life. So if it was pre-recorded and I played... Even my people, it wasn't like you knew the man before I, or you had never met them. The man attends that church, came mm. for that meeting, but it's always on crutches. He had a very strong pain at the back. So that day was so quite intense, he could not work. So as I got there, mm. God said, he will work. I heard him. I hear God like a friend. Claire, he will work. Mm. I said, God, I've not done this before. God said, just minister. I said, sir, can you give me your crutches? God said, hold him. As I held that man, when that man took the first step, sir, I was numb in my life. These are things I watch. He took the second step. He took the third step. The man jumped. There was noise in that place. I did not sleep myself till 5 a.m. I was, I was dazzled. I looked at my hand. Ah. <laughs> you, know, you know, when God does something, even you, the carrier, must feel it. That's God. It's not prepared. It's not that. No, 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 no. I, you know, I, my mom called me. My dad, that does not. So back to our story, sir, the man has paid me pounds for MC. He just saw the miracle. He called me back. I don't know. If you are not a prophet, you can't MC. I said, sir, we MC this one. For this, today, I'm a comedian. Because you need that money, right? I said, I don't do this one. He said, ah. So I'm bringing a prophet. Ah, a prophet cannot. I said, sir, I'm bringing the present. And the event was, people laughed. Cracked a lot of jokes. My fans were there. In fact, there are still some places. Oh, funny enough, that some of my fans they will tell me, if you like be a prophet, if you like be a general person of a ministry, you are hankering my. You know, some people, yeah. which I get, I still get production stuff. I still act in skin again in transit. Some people still love that. They will tell you, listen, if you like prophecy from today to tomorrow, if you like. 
I said, I don't say that to people. My <laughs> son is doing well. You, I don't know you are. <laughs> <laughs> and it's beautiful. That's what we say, you're multifaceted. Yeah. Uh, you do content creation, yeah. ministry, and you do fashion, fashion yeah. as mm. well. Man, I know you say it comes from God, but really, how do you transform all of those ideas into reality? Because one, your, your work schedule, your traveling schedule as well, I know you have to shuttle yeah. back and forth. Mm -hmm. So how, what is that secret to transforming all of those ideas into ah. reality such that your work rate is, if you are a striker now, your goals will be, <laughs> will be a lot. How do you do it? I think it's, it's dedication, it's commitment. How do you care? Sorry, sorry, I need to ask you people that are here. Do you know how amazing it is that we watch you mornings like this? Do you know how amazing it is? Do, don't think Arele is just the only person. In the same way people just leave their work, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., millions of people are watching now. It makes us happy. That's just the same principle. We're dedicated to it. This morning, you might not even, I'm sure there will be times that some, either you or him, will have had time that maybe that morning you were not really feeling well. Am I correct? Yeah, exactly. Mm. You didn't just want to, you just feel like, even this, but you are here. So that's just it. There's nothing dream pursuit in life. Mm. If we're not dedicated to it, with all the prophetic and comment that people are saying, is, if I'm not dedicated to it, if I'm not committed, if it's not hard work, I can't get here. No matter the level of anointing, no matter the level of grace, faith without work is dead. Mm. I'm just so many questions, uh, uh, yeah. Wally, I, 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 <laughs> wow. I just have to prioritize yeah. now. Wow. Nigerians need a message of hope oh, yes. right now. I, I, do, I wonder if you can look into the crystal ball. Either it's through a word of knowledge, maybe it's even counsel. Mm. What lies ahead amid the economic hardship, the insecurity that the country is currently facing now? You know, when I sat down there, God spoke to me. If I if sat here and, was, and and you have play, played with me because the prophetic is so powerful that we can, I do with my friends. So we can say today, I can search in the spirit where, where you're going. It's, that is God. If you're asking that, really, okay, you'll be a prophet. Can you get, give us four or five questions you ask? I would, I would have said that you will, you will ask me questions about the nation. I saw it. God told me sincerely. I didn't know your, your set of questions. I just perceived it in my spirit. And this is it. And I'm going to speak as a prophet. Very profound. And I also speak as a normal Nigerian because it, we need hope at this time. Uh, God has given me a word before, and it was on, it was on my social media because I, by His grace, I have prophecy for every yearly prophecy. It comes to pass. God helps me with that. Oh, for the world, for Nigeria. And I dropped it, I think, December there about. And there's this about Nigeria, sir. Ma, and I would need to say this. Um, firstly, I understand that people are going through a lot. Ma, they are going through a lot. I know what I'm talking about. I don't know how the average person is, is going to cope now. I'm, I'm still going to, I was just talking to, I was speaking to my friends, that friends, my guys, we need to raise a constant intercessory system for this nation. I'm still going to speak to my friend. Is it truth? Is it truth? And what I just want to tell people is that it's a time to keep hope alive. It might be hard. But we should need to we need to keep hope alive. Mm. Prophetically for this nation, I, I, I speak as a prophet of God to nations by his grace. The light of God is gonna shine on this nation. It's been on this nation, but we're gonna have a bright side. Our Father did Lord have said it, and it's the truth. What God showed me is that a lot has happened to this nation even before the present regime came in. It's the truth. So when they came in, they became overwhelming. They didn't expect, and it's prophetic to see the level of decadence that had happened. For real. I'm giving prophetic insight. It's, I'm, as a spokesman of God. Not, not as a not, politician. No, not as a politician. Political if any affiliate. aspirant had entered, they will still face major challenges. Right. Because, that, but, but what I just pray is for mostly, if there's anyone watching that needs to pray for this regime, is wisdom. Because a house is built by wisdom. This regime needs wisdom of policies to remove and to replace, right. of people that should be that should be ejected mm. out of the cabinet and people that should be in. I speak as an oracle of God. This is not a time where somebody is in a cabinet to function in a capacity and that person is embarrassing. God will evict such a fellow because your own act can affect millions of life. Am I making sense, sir? Yes, yes sir. So because mm. the presidency is not right. as powerful as the team. All right.
This yeah, is what we'll do. Yeah. We're going to do a behind the scenes Same, with yeah. Willie Wuli Arule. <laughs> I mean, we can go on and on. He's always an amazing person to have on the show. But we'll continue this behind the scenes. So watch out for that video. We'll put it up uh, <laughs> later on. But you know, we'd like to thank you so much. We, thank you. We've overshot our time. Like, uh, major. It's quite interesting. In we're just going. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to Channel Steve. Willie Arule, Tony Baigo, would like to thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your thank time. Thank you for coming. Always a pleasure thank having you. Thank you. All right. Thank you for making us laugh. I mean, so. Yeah. Even when you were saying serious things, I was laughing. Thank, Thank you, you so much. For God bless you. God bless Channel Steel. Absolutely. Thank you. We'll go on a break now. When we return, we'll have another leg of a conversation. It concerns transportation and safety. You see these people on the road. You visit them for your vehicle inspection. But we'll talk about what goes on behind the scenes and the things you need to know so you stay safe on the road as well. That's the moment. Stay with us. It's still a morning break.